Hi everyone, this is Craig Durr, Senior Analyst with Wayne House Research, part of the Futurum Group. We are here live from the showroom floor from Infocom. This is North America's largest trade show for AV professionals. And I'm really fortunate to be here speaking with uh, Simon Tigre, CEO of NEAT. Um, Simon, you've had a very busy week, so I really appreciate you taking time to come here. Well, thanks for having me. Now, the reason you've been so busy is that you've actually announced several products in this last week and a half, including the uh, Neat App Hub and the Neat Board 50. But before we dive into products, there was something else I wanted to talk about. You were really getting down to basics. You kept talking about how Neat is changing the game again, with emphasis on that word again. Tell me what do you mean by that? Well, when we launched the company in 2019 at Zoomtopia, uh, we came in with a fresh new approach. We had simple, elegant devices, software defined, um, and we brought some significant innovations to the industry, things like our audio capabilities built from scratch. Uh, but I think the most uh, important one is probably symmetry, mm. uh, the people focused framing which really has set a standard for the industry. Um, so um, I'm super excited about what we're doing uh, this time around because I think this is the most significant launch that we've had uh, or we're gonna have since we launched the company. Uh, yeah, I, I totally agree with you. I think t uh, what you guys did that first time around in terms of the elegant design, um, the way that you went to market even, and the way that you've helped people use video in totally different ways. I really do think that was game changing. But let's talk about these new products. So the first one I wanna talk about is Neat's App Hub. What exactly is this? So Neat App Hub has been in the works, I would say from day one. Uh, this has always been a part of the Neat vision uh, to uh, give our customers choice and flexibility um, and really make our devices valuable for all sorts of collaboration. So App Hub is simply an ability for customers to choose what uh, collaboration apps they want to deploy on the devices. Interesting. So it goes beyond what we already have with Zoom and Teams and opens up for what you can call third party apps, collaboration apps, room reservation apps, wayfinding apps, uh, you know, fun apps, uh, but uh, really opening it up. So these are all kind of apps. You mentioned some really interesting ones there. Uh, uh, social apps, entertainment apps, as well as other collaboration apps? Absolutely, so I think the most exciting one in my view is uh, Miro, oh. right? So we partner with Miro, uh, very, very exciting partnership. And uh, the idea here is that, you know, a lot of customers are using these, and I wouldn't call it a whiteboard application. I mean, Miro, it goes way beyond whiteboarding, mm -hmm. but it really is a collaboration, content creation, ideation type of application. and. Um, bringing that into the meeting space uh, is what we're doing with Miro. Okay, that's great. So help me understand though, how do these applications, what are the benefits for people? How, how would they use this in this environment? So it's, it's a couple of different things. So, so obviously one piece is that, you know, today you can deploy Zoom uh, as a complete solution across all of our devices, whether it's the pad for scheduling, control, uh, the video systems, the board, the bars. Um, and you can do the same with, with Teams. But step one is you can open up and, and use different applications than those, like Miro. Another example is you, know, you can use AppSpace or Robin for room booking. Okay. Um, and the interesting thing is this also cuts across devices. So if you think about a room or a meeting space, typically you have multiple devices in that space. And you can imagine a room where you know, a customer may be using Robin for room reservation, so they put that on the neat pad outside the room. Mm -hmm. Maybe they, you know, we want to use Teams for uh, their Bar Pro as the main video device, and then they have a neat board 50 that they roll in or use, you know, when they want to have a collaboration session where that neat board 50 is running Miro. Right. So you have this meeting space that really has multiple devices running multiple different apps working together to create a great collaboration experience. That, that's really great. Now, all this is actually integrated into your forthcoming cloud-based management solution, Pulse. Tell yes. me about that. So Pulse is our uh, cloud-based subscription offer and it consists of basically three elements. It gives you the choice, yep. so that's the app hub. It gives you control, so that's the management and monitoring part. And uh, it also gives you care. So technical support whenever you need that help from the NEAT uh, support team uh, to get you uh, through your uh, challenges. So, so that's really the package of Pulse. And obviously, you know, our customers really are asked to do more with less resources, right? And, and the world is really complicated. So Pulse is that, you know, um, uh, solution that enables you to control these experiences and control these apps across these devices. So that's where you uh, deploy the apps, that's where you control what kind of apps you want to deploy and what devices, all the settings, the configurations, et cetera. I love it. So choice, control, 
care and care and, and you know what it, it really actually brings to life this whole name of pulse it really does make this the epicenter the heartbeat yes. of what that IT administrator is doing around those devices right yes that's yes. incredible well speaking of devices let's talk about this new one I'm really excited about this the neat board 50 tell me about this absolutely so on the surface of it, Neatboard 50 is an all-in-one, super capable video device, right? But it goes way beyond that. It has a high-quality camera and our advanced audio capabilities and a, an active screen touch display with an active marker. So the responsiveness, you know, when you run these whiteboarding applications like Miro is amazing. But I think the really, you know, new cool thing about it is its adaptability and flexibility. It's interesting, the term adaptability, because that's what you named the stand that came with it. I really love this, the adaptive stand. Tell me about this part. Yeah, so basically we're hearing our customers tell us that they're being asked to accommodate a more flexible office, right? You know, employees come in to collaborate. Uh, if you want to work heads down, you can work from home. So when people come in, they want to collaborate. And how they use the office space is really changing, right? They need a more dynamic, more flexible space. And, you know, a lot of, you know, there's a lot of talk about market architecture and, you know, changing the meeting space for the moment, you know, of the day, whatever the needs are. And, you know, when that happens, you need new technology. You right. need more flexible, more adaptive technology. What's cool about the adaptive stand is not only can you roll this system around, which obviously, when you're in a meeting, just adjusting the system, pulling it towards you, uh, when you're fewer people putting it away, if you're more people, makes a big difference. But we also allow you to adjust the screen up and down. Wow. And that may sound like a simple thing, but it is significant because you may be sitting down like we are having a video meeting and then you want the screen to be you know, in the down position so you have the right camera angle and mm -hmm. you know, the right, right interaction. If you wanna go up to the board and, and you know, interact with the content, annotate on it or do whiteboarding, stuff like that, right. you wanna adjust it up so that it, you know, uh, the ergonomics are right. So I think the whole package here um, of then high quality video device, an amazing screen with the active marker, the app hub and the flexibility that gives you, as well as the adaptive stand, you have a package that really can support our customers in this new dynamic world. I, I really love this. Um, the reason why I was fo focusing on this stand, it actually aligns with some research that I've done. A lot of people know about the office doing this activity-based uh, orientation around spaces. The next level of that is this cognitive base. It's the idea that the space changes to your needs that you need, and the adaptive stand totally a does that. I, I love seeing the images I saw of people sitting down and then having it raised for when it was in an interactive you know, whiteboarding session. That's really great. You know, so these are really great products. Now people are gonna be able to see these at the booth here at Infocom, right? Absolutely, so we have the Neatboard 50 on the show here, and one of the really cool things we're, we're actually showing at the booth is the ability to then have, let's say, Miro running on this Neatboard 50, mm -hmm. and the, uh, we have a new capability where you can share that screen into a Zoom or a Teams call. That's right. In a very, very simple and neat manner. So that's something we're showing at the booth. We're obviously also showing our neat board, our neat bar, uh, bar pro and our pads. We're running Zoom and Teams, so the whole portfolio. Uh, we also have Neat Center. That's what I'm excited about also. Yes. yes. That's so great. we'll be showing Neat Center and I'm super excited about Neat Center. It's been a, a, an exciting journey for the team. Very proud to be showing it off. So we have a, a meeting space where you can, you can um, experience uh, Neat Center. And the, the best way you know, I found to describe Center is that it really extends that symmetry experience into the room. Right. With the intelligence that you guys have built in, this AI capability and having actually two camera opportunities to capture that right angle, that's Absolutely. A, that's a fantastic experience. And actually, you know, if you combine the Neat Center with a Bar Pro, you in fact have five different cameras oh, working kidding. together. There are three cameras in the in the center, there are two cameras in, in the Bar Pro, there are 16 microphones on the center. I don't know, I guess in a Bar Pro it's 16 microphones too, so you got a lot of microphones and a lot of uh, camera technology, but the important thing is how you put that together to provide that very simple and intuitive uh, symmetry experience. That's great. Now, a lot of people might be hearing this online and are not gonna be here at the show. How can they find out more about all these great new products that you're talking well, about? Well, we have uh, everything on our uh, website, okay. neat.no, but we also have a web uh, you know, seminar coming up uh, on June 22nd, okay. so you can go to our website and sign up for that. Super excited about that. A new workflow and a new era of work. Correct. Got it. So we'll go through all the, all the new products, the new features, the capabilities, so uh, everybody's welcome to join that. That's great. Well, uh, Seaman, 
thank you so much for joining us. I'm really excited to get some time down there to see some more of these products here. Uh, thank you. Everyone, thank you again. This is live from the showroom floor with Wayne House and Neat. Take care.